Welcome back to some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. This is Kabusha. Uh, back for some more uh, all or nothing tests. So, this one I'm going early tech. Uh, 1920 in the skirmish seems to be the earliest, at least it's the French anyway, that you can get access to all or nothing. So, I'm going to do another all or nothing test. And I'm not going to put on torpedoes this time. I'm going to make sure I stay out of torpedo range and not go ham. So, this gives us an early dreadnought with all or nothing, which was a thing. Nations did do this. I'm going to go heavy bulkheads, uh, medium range. This is what? France? So, yeah, for medium seems fine. But between the Mediterranean and the North Sea, yeah. 26 knots, seems fairly reasonable for a ship that size. 40,000 tons, yeah. Good place to start. We'll go oil. Uh, we'll see if balanced induction is good enough. And, oh, I gotta eat up a lot of time. Well, of course, cost is not an issue in skirmish, so never mind. Only in the scenarios or a actual real deal. Max out shafts and auxiliary. It's only, only cost tonnage. Best armor, of course. And we'll go Barbet 2. Basic anti torp. And. I'll go triple bottom for the extra resistance with reinforced bulkheads and anti flooding one. Citadel five. Standard shelves. Uh, we'll go super heavy again. And increased number with two powder for the extra penetration. A lot of people go TNT, which it's not a bad choice at all. Uh, you do get more shell damage that way. But not much of a penetration buff. Whereas you do say you do get a huge amount of penetration. That seems to be the biggest issue is with a late tech is getting the pin to even happen so and the reduction to ammo detonation isn't bad the faster reloads not bad it's just it's more of a preference thing ultimately you you do you uh i'm going semi-auto fire all the daca and we'll go electrical turrets most of the time especially if i'm staying at range and not engaging as close you can get away with less of this tech we might even go advanced hydraulics Rangefinder, we will be trying to stick to range, so we'll probably go with Rangefinder 4. And RDF, for just for direction finding, so I've already used up half our tonnage. Uh, I don't know what we have access for main guns. Let's see what we got. We do have all the way up to 16s. Mark 1s, very poor 16s. Uh, not good 15s. High quality 14s. And 13s, 12s. Okay, Mark 3s down the line, so it's pretty much a no-brainer. Go 14 inches. Uh, we could add a barbette. I forget if you can use a standard barbette for 14-inch guns. That might be the uh, might be the limit because I think 15s. Yep, you can. Okay. Uh, will we do that though? Because the main tower, we could get an advanced tower with the barbette already on it. We might just do that, or I could throw a secondary gun on that, which would be kind of neat. Okay, we'll go standard. With a central line 14. We we'll go to the main tower. Let's see, is there a. These are identical though. This would not have it. How identical are they? This does have more aiming speed and better bait. Oh, a lot of long range accuracy. So we will go ahead and use this. And secondary guns, we'll just throw an 8 inch. Uh, We'll go through an 8 inch triple on center. Kind of neat. Secondary tower. What will fit in the back now that we've done this? Um. Hmm. 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 You're trying for? Yeah, it would seem these will not fit. And that is. Uh, go a little bit further forward, say right to there. Is that enough? Secondary tower. Nope. And this is probably... Oh, no, that can go for the forward. Alright, well, we'll bump this forward. See, right to there. Then go secondary tower. That won't fit. That one won't. If I were being smart about this, I'd just X this turret. But, you know, I'm... I'm kind of stubborn that way sometimes, and I like the way it looks. Uh, do-do-do... Obviously, all that matters is that it looks cool. Yeah, we'll go triples. Heavy broadside. Interesting. Forward offset heavily forward. I uh, can't see I'm too surprised there. Roll that back a little bit. Say right in there. 
It, would they actually clear? Barely. Whew, that's tight. Funnels need at least one. Alright, funnels. What's our funnel tech? Okay, maybe a large wide, maybe a pair of large wides in there. Which, ugh, I can't see. Let's go holes. And that gets us all the efficiencies we need. And more, we'll throw another secondary 8 inch. Triple right there. Okay. Barbets, another standard superimposed. There is no slot back here for it. Okay. Uh, in that case, we'll, we'll go main gun, center line, 14 inch triples. Ta da. Ta da. Still a little bit too heavy. We might go a little freaky. Told you I was freaky. Let's throw doubles up front. That does offset a little bit. Hmm. Alternatively, we could scrap that. Let's just do the sensible thing. Which works just fine. Alright, fine. We'll be sensible about it. Duh. All right, so center lines, um, hold form, stability, pitch, and roll. Hmm. So the pitch does reduce the acceleration effect by the weight distribution, hold design, and size of the ship. Hmm. Interesting. So if we were to say move this slightly further forward, so less of an offset, twenty-seven point nine, and say pull this one back in a little bit too. Oops. Try to get that balanced. Uh, twenty-seven point one. It goes down a little bit. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. And very little roll. So if I go, let's say casemate guns. Let's say I throw a bunch of 8 inch. Whoa, that really increases the roll. Actually, penalty from sea waves, from cruising. Whoa, interesting. Okay, well, that's good to know. So, centerline turrets seem to be kind of the way to go. That said, too many, and you'll be more pitchy because of that way. Interesting. So, very little roll with our current uh, setup. Fascinating. Uh, let's say, could I put a pair of secondary 8 inch turrets? Would they snuggle in here? Does not look it. No. But a pair of secondary 6s. I'm just curious if I were to. Nah. Doesn't really fit. Mm. Fives. Maybe they don't do very much. Yeah, we'll leave it as is. Okay, armor. What do we got going on here? So up to 47 inches. So let's whip out the old calculator. 47 divided by 2.18, because I'm assuming it's still, yep. Uh, 21 and a half, about 21.6 inches of belt armor to be totally immune to our own guns. I don't see that as worthwhile. Let's say an engagement of 10,000 meters and out is going to require about a 9 inch deck and 15 ish inches of armor. 30.9 divided by 2.18. 14.7. So we'll say 14 and a half inch belt. Belt turret. Belt extended we will remove. Now, it does say extension of the belt armor on the bow and stern of the ship. I don't know if it also applies to the... I was thinking about on it. It might apply to the upper belt as well. Uh, because we were taking that previous experiment mid-belt penetrations that seemed a little odd. Um, might be because of this. But we'll put, set that to zero. Deck extended to zero. Uh, plunging fire. What did we need? So 10,000... Or, sorry, 22. We need 18. Divided by 2.18. 8.2, so it's like eight and a half inches of deck. Turret top, 
8.5. I always like to go up a tad. And secondaries will armor them for against the same plunging fire at range. So we're sitting here. Why don't we basically hit our tonnage target? I might be able to knock it down just a touch. This is right in there. Oops. Oh, so as you make the ship bigger, it will adjust the pitch to you hit a sweet spot, it seems. 29 point, oops. 29.6 is, I guess, the sweet spot for this ship. Not entirely sure why, but okay. So I could adjust the aft weight or adjust the bow slightly forward. Let's see here. Uh, makes no difference, but it's perfectly balanced. You may have spare flotation. <laughs> Sounds legit to me. So we are armored at 10,000 yards against our own guns. Now with that little bit extra, we could go just an even 15-inch belt. Oh, and the conning tower also to 15. Forgot about that. That is somewhat important. Between 9.8, adjusted slightly, but yeah. Okay. I think this is fine. A lot of hull resistance from from sloped design. Hmm. Interesting. Under shift speed. Hmm. Okay. Alright, launching! <clears throat> now this time I'll try to stay at, basically at my immunity zone, and, so 10,000 yards and out, and see just what this ship does. Three versus three battle, and see how bad it goes. Now we do have RDF, so we should, so to the north, huh? So that way, that's where they are. Looks like the smoke is blowing towards them, which... I'm not sure if smoke is actually giving a penalty in this game. I need to observe a little bit. Speed this up. Do, 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 do. I forget, did I go back triples up front? I did. Mm, slow down to 10. Alright, so it's saying that way. Turn in just a tiny bit more. Bingo. Slow down. Shots already out. Ranging salvos. <clears throat> I haven't quite figured out. Well, that was two shells, which that's ranging. Fine, whatever. You do see every once in a while the triples stop firing. And I'm not sure if that's caliber related, uh, technology related, or what. Because you'll see them drop down to, say, two shells per turret. Um, if the game simulated, sorry, if the game simulated gun jams and such, I'd be fine, but, uh, it's not giving any such feedback yet, which leads me to go, it's probably a bug. Mm, it looked like all the guns were firing. Oh, we're already getting penetrating hits. Well, that's something. Five and a half percent at long range. So, oops, it kind of bugs me that it does that. <clears throat> Thirty-one and a half percent for technology. We could slow down to cruising speed because we're not getting much of a bonus, but that'll give us a little bit more of a firing bonus to that ship. Target ship size modifier is plus two hundred. Third grade guns. Yeah, smooth seas. Not pitching heavily. Not bad. We might angle in just a tiny bit more. What's our range to target? 14 kilometers. And we have a range. Okay, out to 22. So we're at upper mid range. We won't angle much in. This should be just fine. Did take a bounce already? Yeah, I forget who we're fighting. The Japanese! Oh. Hey, they did what I was wanting to do with the super firing. <laughs> Uh, though the size of that barbette, I think they're running smaller guns. Damage to their secondary turret. 
These definitely look like very similar ships. They got a very heavy secondary battery by comparison. Whoa, and deck turrets. Fascinating. Looks like a longer, bigger ship compared to mine. Not much, though. Just a little bit. Nah, actually pretty similar. Uh, our armor's doing just fine. We'll go ahead and angle out a little bit. This is not my best design ever in terms of turret layout. These are definitely more restricted than I normally like, but, uh, you know, the rule of cool and all, this 8-inch turret that's going to do nothing this 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 round, but, hey, you know, you got to have something. Okay, there's a bounce. We seem to be doing fine. We haven't taken any hits to the extern the uh, extended armor belts or decks, so completely inconclusive yet. That said, we are doing pretty good against them. That ship's getting pounded. So we're penetrating her deck. Looks like bouncing off the belt. So the long range engagement looks to be favoring us. Stern deck extended, mid belt pin, mid deck pin. Wow. Mid belt pin. So yeah, they are not armored for this engagement at all. Interesting. Yeah, we'll just maintain range. Yeah, I'm still not sure. Honestly, uh, about all or nothing versus a totally armored turtle back because totally armored turtle back is not that expensive tonnage wise to do and then you're just giving yourself more immunity zones in real life it's very expensive to armor your ship that heavily so I'm just not sure granted it's still early development it's only alpha 4 and there's plenty of time for them to adjust the weight of armor and Especially if maybe heavily armoring those locations give you a huge pitch disadvantage to accuracy, then okay, there's something to be said there. It's all in the balance. I'm, this is definitely not, the intention of this is not to say conclusively, all or nothing is better, or turtle back is better. It's just more, just data gathering, just to, just to get a feel for it. Boy, I have to say, we are really exceeding the limit range. We've gotten 8% of these have still not been identified. We're getting close. That ship is going to be pretty bad for accuracy at this point. It's so wrecked. So, that battleship. Yeah, under 1% chance to hit. But it's taken so much damage that it's not a very good judge. These other ones are not very identified yet. That's annoying. We'll see. Well, keep hitting that ship. Oh, they got 15-inch guns. Oh, they got Mark 1s. Oh, yeah, that's a big negative for them. We got 39. Yeah, we got up to 47 inches of pin. What's the armor on this ship? So they've got one tier of armor below us, and only 11.2 inches on belt. Uh, but they do have more armor everywhere. They do have 2.5, and they're all their extended locations. But I'm pinning those without an issue. Um, they did take flooding, but it looks like they've actually pumped it back a little bit. Structure damage, did it go up some? I may have misseen that. That ship's almost identified. What's the range? 14.8 kilometers, which is excellent for us. 14.8 kilometers, so 15. We have 25 inches of belt pin and 11 inches of deck, so plenty of deck penetration. They at 15, 21.1. Again, they're not going to penetrate my main belt anywhere. And 10 inches of deck pin, which I'm I'm effectively immune. So except for my extended locations, I'm essentially immune to their arm, their penetration, in theory. But they may still get partial pins or cracking beating of the arm, which may help them in the long term. We'll see. We still haven't taken anything. Whatever's hitting us is bouncing. So they're shooting at this ship. Log, nothing. Because I have heard bounces, but nothing, uh, nothing's hit those vulnerable locations. Main 
gun damage. So these are lighter ships, 35,200 tons. Yeah, they're all the same. And only a top speed of 20 knots. Yeah, the AI kind of got ruined on that one. I was kind of hoping that maybe with the lower tier secondary uh, tower it might offset whatever tech advantage I have, but it they really rolled some bad ships on that one. Only 1% chance to hit. Yeah, they're, they're not going to get very far in this one. Oh well. <laughs> we'll see. We may go ahead angle in because they're never going to catch us. Bring it a little bit closer so to give them a little bit more of a chance. Destroy the casemate. Very good. They're not going to have much of a fleet left. Totally outclassed. Laughs in French. <laughs> I forget. I need to see if there's better graphics options for this game as well. I believe it's only full screen or in a small window. It, I don't think it has full window support yet, which is what I prefer to play in. So it makes it difficult because you can't really tab out and bring in other information easily. I may just have to play it in windowed and just like just scale it, which works. It just I I always hate that uh, window border. We'll see. Oh yeah, look at these ships. Secondary turret is still doing absolutely nothing. For campaign, I would, if I could, like to actually have a second 8-inch turret on it of three guns. Because that gives you functionally a six-gun secondary broadside, which is probably more enough for dealing with destroyers, what I've seen. That ship looks to be dead in the water. Oh, our 8-inch finally got involved. So their secondary should be here soon. Yep, their secondaries are starting to fire. Oh, they only have 5-inch casemates. Ew. Fourteens. Wow, our 8-inch is even penetrating their mid-deck. Not a lot of damage, but something. So we did take bow belt extended over pin. Immediately went to orange or, or yellow. And this had a range of 12 kilometers. And they're up to about two and a half, seven percent. Now I'm curious how much more tonnage expensive it would be to build this same ship. So I don't think I'm going to learn too much more out of this experiment. Yeah, we'll go back out. I didn't notice if they had torpedoes or not, but no, but I'd rather not get torpedoed. We are taking a lot of chip damage. And that might be the thing for all or nothing is that, yes, you will take pins at long range, but it's an over pin that doesn't degrade you very much. Who cares? We have a very small amount of damage and stability, and it's already cleared itself. Whoo! Ammo detonation. Belt extended. Ah. So if they are extending ammo storing ammunition if the game is storing ammunition in the extended belt that would be something against all or nothing assuming all or nothing doesn't move that yeah there's just too many unknowns right now to say conclusively if your ammunition is stored in that extended belt in theory with an all or nothing scheme the belt should be extending basically from here to this rearmost turret that's where having 
even a uh, nine gun broadside should favor you for example because it will shorten that extended belt even more allowing you to put more armor to a smaller area again so yeah just too, just way too many unknowns where is the armor or where is the ammunition in an all or nothing scheme if it is in the extended belt then it's just a a uh, death trap waiting to happen At which point i would just go turtle back every time i need to know all right, let's go a little closer. Tell you what, let's go closer and we'll turn off my guns. Because obviously I could win this pretty handily. We're, we're wrecking these ships. Yeah, we'll turn off the secondaries as well. Let's go closer. Uh, both these are pretty much wrecked. Tell you what, I'm going to restart this battle. I'm just going to sail closer, since, especially since these ships don't have torpedoes. Uh, it means I'm not getting that torpedo interference, basically, with testing. So let's go full speed in. We will, And we're going to turn off our guns. Because I want to see if I can take an ammo detonation in the extended belt. Because that would tell me pretty decisively what's going to happen with my ships. Or in terms of my future of designing them in the current implement implementation. Because if all ships are storing their ammunition in their extended belt, then there's no reason to use all or nothing. It's a uh, death trap. Let's find out. Oh, I wish you could keep sailing at 10 speed. Yeah, just take me closer. Here, everybody, uh, let's go, where is it? Aha, abreast. Get those bows pointed in. Take the hits. Laugh in French. <laughs> Aha, we took a hit. So, mid-deck overpin. Which, considering we're at a range of 15 kilometers, and that's where it, it's got to be mislabeling that that has to be deck extended how could that be a mid deck there should be no mid deck because that should be my heaviest deck armor which they're not gonna pin the the third build is on fire we'll just see sailing closer bow belt extended over pin yeah look at that belt mid-deck overpin. Now, if extended deck, well this is the conning tower though, that's, yeah. There's something odd with the damage scheme, because that should be the conning hour tower armor effectively working. Or belt extended normally applies to that. I don't know. But if that's mid-deck affects your conning tower armor, then that's a major negative. At which point I would want that deck extended even heavier. Hmm. And the note on all or nothing is that it, ex it doubles if the thickness of armor on the deck and extended deck. And that might be what they mean. Extended deck might not actually be just about and stern. It could be your upper citadel, in which case, yes, you do want to armor that more heavily. Hmm. Flooding. Deck extended over pin. Bow deck extended. Mid deck over pin. It's all the extended deck. So our extended locations are already heavily saturated. Superstructures heavily damaged at this point. And looks like she's starting to detach. Yep, so she's doing the doing the stupids. Don't do that. Oh, I guess you already committed to the turn, whatever. Oh, I wish they could disable that behavior. Yeah, we're just gonna detach you as well. And you and you do your thing. And you will do your thing. You're, you're ruining my tests. Here you go. Just keep sailing in. 
belt extended belt extended a mid belt pin that kind of kills the test some but it's super short range flotation's going way down which it really shouldn't be yeah I'm not liking this this much structure damage wait whoa 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 did you guys get torpedoes this time oh curses it rolled a different fleet I was hoping with replay it would uh, be the same fleet but oh well Hey, yeah, looks like you're gonna eat. You're gonna eat one. That ruins my tests. Oh well. Whatever. But yeah, this much structure damage. That much flotation damage as well. Hard to hurt. Torpedo hit. Boy, these guys have a lot of torpedoes. They are going ham with them. Where do you go? You need to come back in. Yeah, just come out of your turn. Why not? Hard to burt. <laughs> so many torpedoes. <laughs> oh my word. Um, at least we've taken a huge amount of damage everywhere. And still no ammo detonation. That's really what I'm waiting to see is trying to trigger an ammo detonation. Ultimately. Okay, that one sank. Yeah. And for the amount of damage it took, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm not liking that. But she sank to do, whoa, look at that. Holy heck. Yeah, I am not liking all or nothing. Look at the massive amount of structure damage it's taking because of the lack of armor in those locations. Who we? Oh. Stern belt extended ammo detonation. Okay, that seals it for me. I am not doing uh, all or nothing. At least in the current damage implementation. If it's it's storing ammo in the extended belt, which shouldn't be happening. Okay, yeah, no all or nothing. That that seals the deal for me. We'll just stick to turtle back, armor the heck out it, out of it, uniform armor, whatever it takes. Uh, cause yeah, that's a huge liability. That makes all or nothing pretty much useless to me. And I can get armored enough with turtle back that I don't care about those that plunging fire anyway cool all right well i'd say this has been successful uh we'll probably uh, you know let this play out as kind of a whatever really at this point uh just the fact that this ship let me see here can i get a uh oh print screen there you go print screen for that ammo detonation that's that's all i needed to test and no so all or nothing doesn't move the ammo cool hey Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this was informative for you. I kind of hope that they change that. I might even go to the forum and discuss this a little bit and uh, see what I can find out. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. See ya.